Jürgen Moore, late drama in the Premier League. What's the emotional roller coaster like for you on a day like this? <laughs> I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I'm, uh, you know, when you finish the game on the on the up, then it's okay. I can imagine how how Roy feels now. They worked hard. They did a lot. And they would have deserved for sure a point here today. But at the end, we won the game, and it was deserved as well because we had we had two really big chances on top, like alone in front of the goalie. They had their set pieces. Apart from that, I don't remember too many saves from Ali. But the goal they scored well, was good, good play. Um, and we had today to fight with different things, with the opponent, with the situation that we came together on Thursday with eight, nine, ten different match plans, which the boys had to fulfill last week. And now we bring it together on ours, started well. We're not compact enough. That's why um, um, Crystal Palace came in the game, had their 1-1 situation with Zaha, with Townsend, doesn't feel good. Our distances between the fullbacks and the, and the, and the half-space midfielders too big. So to have a 2 v one situation, football things, which you want to be very often sort differently. That's why we then have can win the ball in the area we want to win it. And today we want the, uh, the ball back in the area that was too deep. So that's why they had too many set pieces. The set pieces were really dangerous, and it gave them always the time yeah, to, to to go there to push up and all that stuff. So that was a tough job to do today. And at the end, I'm obviously completely happy uh, with the result and with big parts of the performance as well, because I know why it's not possible to be brilliant every day. We, we're used to seeing you very animated on the sidelines, but was there a sense that you felt that Crystal Palace were, were potentially going to get back into the game when they equalised? Do we want us in a little bit? But I thought more it's from a set piece because we didn't. If you don't finish a game off and you want it up and you don't finish it off and you give always, then it's clear. It stays open. And the atmosphere is really good. Huh? So they keep going and they have one good moment. One and we, we just defended still slightly too deep. Man, all balls we blocked were not throw-ins, were all corners. Or first half we had one or two free kicks which we. Um, produce, which doesn't make sense too much. So and um, that's it. That's it. No, I'm. I'm, I'm, I didn't know that they would score, but it was not that I was completely surprised when they scored. That's clear. That's all. What does this say about your team? They, they seem to have that ability to keep going till the end. We've seen lots of late goals. Some Liverpool fans talking about cloppage time goals <laughs> as a new saying. But, but what is that about your team now that they have? We should not force that too often. That's how it is. But of course, the game is not over. And we know meanwhile then there's still something to come for us. And the boys, of course, start believing in it. There's no, no doubt about that. But it's not. we should not take it for granted. That's all what I can say. It's not that we, they scored a 1-1 one, one and I had a look at my watch and said, oh, Wonderful! Now we can st we can start winning the game over that. It's not like this, really. 100% um, clear before the game that it will be really, really tough today. It was tough, so now we won it. Good. Let's go home, prepare for Napoli, and then for the other games.